20 years ago today, life as we knew it permanently changed. It's now been two decades since nearly 33,000 lives were lost in a terror attack on September 11th, 2001. Throughout the nation, including right here in Wisconsin, Americans are honoring the fallen, but also reflecting on their efforts to keep us safe in the days since. Adam Dexter joins us now with more. Well, prior to September 11th, 2001, it was rare for the airmen at the 115th Fighter Wing to take on longer missions. But as we know, that day changed everything. Tonight, hundreds more are taking the next step in the continued fight to keep our nation safe. For 300 airmen in Wisconsin's 115th Fighter Wing, today is the day. The emotions are kind of coming to a head here and just being able to prepare for that, prepare for what it's going to be like. When the service members of Wisconsin's Air National Guard, like Jax Miller, say goodbye to their loved ones and prepare to leave on a three-month mission in Southwest Asia. And we've been preparing for a while now, um, emotionally, physically, all of that, so... Um, but it's something to look forward to. In a symbol of the ongoing volunteer service, largely made necessary after what happened 20 years ago on the day. September 11th is a really a formative day for us in the military and certainly here at the fighter wing. Colonel Bart Van Roo remembers it all too well. In that first day, we really just sat and waited as the airspace was cleared to see if we were going to get tasked to do something else. There were missions that we never com contemplated and really a threat we never thought we'd have to face in some way. But like many of our service members preparing to take this three-month mission, Miller's memory of the September 11th attacks is a little different. I was in first grade, so I remember my mom picked me up from school and she said, I have something to tell you. And I immediately thought the worst, and she was like, a, a, a plane hit the World Trade Centers in New York, and it was a big catastrophe, and, um, you know, I was young, so I didn't really process it at the time. But still not one she'll ever forget. It just kind of brings all those emotions back bubbling to the surface and kind of reminds you about what it's all about and uh, what you're there for. Governor Evers was among those in attendance today, thanking those undertaking the mission for their service. As for what will happen on this mission, the 115th Fighter Wings says it plans to release more information in the coming days.